This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hi, I'm Uriah from CMDRDX, and today we're going to do a very special unboxing of the Commander 2013 Magic product. Today we have Eternal Bargain. This is the Esper, which is black, blue, and white deck from Magic Commander 2013 called Eternal Bargain. The uh, primary commander here is Aloro, Ageless Ascetic, a 4-5 that gains you a lot of life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you can gain 2 life, whether it's in your command zone or not. And then uh, whenever you gain life, you may pay 1. If you do, draw a card. Each play opponent loses 1 life. So, it's a great card, getting us a lot of life. We have Sherem the Hegemon, a large foil version of her. She's going to be a reprint uh, in this box as well. And then Sidri, Galvanic Genius, a new legend from this box. 2-2 Artificer makes stuff a creature that's an artifact. And then uh, Target Creature gains Death Touch and Life Link to the end of turn as well. Let's get into the deck. Looks like we have some more to play and Commander pamphlets in there. Esper is uh, very artifact based, so we'll see a lot of artifact and also life gain in this deck, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, here we have the small version of Aloro Ageless Ascetic. Johnny's Pride Mate gain life, put plus one plus one counters, we're going to get a lot of that. A new card printed in this set is Serene Master. It's an 0-2 on one white and one. But whenever it blocks, exchange its power and power of a target creature it's blocking until the end of turn. So, if your opponent's attacking with a creature whose power is greater than its toughness, if you block with Serene Master, it'll flip that around and kill that creature that's attacking you. Disciple of the Grizzle Brand, sacrifice a creature and gain life. Tide Hollow Strix, uh, more life gain. Well, actually, just death touch in this one. It's a 2 1 flyer for 2 mana. Viscopa Guild Mage, that's going to give something life link. And then also, whenever you gain life this turn, each opponent loses that much life. We get a lot of life gain, so that second ability is going to be really great with this deck. Azorius Herald comes into play. We gain some life. Raven Familiar. This is new art. Originally saw print in the Urza block. A 1-2 on 3. Flying Echo of 3. Enters the battlefield. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them under your hand. The rest the bottom in any order. We have Stormscape Battle Mage, some great utility there, either gaining life or destroying a target non-black creature. Citri Galvanic Genius, she's the new creature. Uh, amazing art from Therese Nielsen, uh, can be a very, very powerful general with a commander or artifact-based commander deck. Augury Adept, uh, originally saw play in the Lorem block. 2-2 uh, on 3, whenever deals combat damage to a player, reveal top card of your library, put it in your hand, gain life, more gain life. Wall of Reverence, we're going to be getting a lot of life. Kong Ming Sleeping Dragon, this is a Portal 3 Kingdoms reprint. A 2 2 1 4 gives other creatures plus 1 plus 1. Again, since it's a legendary creature itself, you can pull it out of the deck and make a commander deck with it as the general. Here we have some of that artifact theme peeking through with a 4 4 flyer for 4. Razor Hippogriff, going to go ahead and get us an artifact from the graveyard back to our hand and gain some life while we're at it. Diviner Spirit is a new card printed for Magic 2013, a 2-4 on 5. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you and that player may each draw that many cards. So this will likely get through and see a lot of combat damage since a lot of people like to draw cards. Hooded Horror we have a 4-4 on 5. Can't be blocked if the fame player controls the most creatures or is tied for the most. Marrow Bats, a 4-1 flyer. Pay 4 life or generate. We should have enough life in this deck that that should not be a problem. New art on Phyrexian Delver. Uh, originally printed, I believe, an invasion block. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, lose life. Doesn't matter with all the life gain that we're getting. And that's a 3 2 on 5. We have Divinity of Pride, which is crazy good in Commander because you start with 40 life, which means if you have still that 40 or even higher than 25, when it hits play, it's automatically an 8 8 with more lifelink and flying. Sharding Sphinx, more of that artifact. Uh, 
peeking through, 4-4 four, four on 6, and gets artifacts and deals combat damage. Frixing Gargantua, new art on this, similar to the Delver. Comes into play, draw 2 cards, lose 2 life. Shroom, if you play Shroom, if you're not familiar, she's one of the more cutthroat commanders. So if you're a newer player and you're wanting to play with uh, one of the new legends, be careful with Shroom, uh, because she might get you a lot of hate early on. Mirror Battlesphere is a great card, a 4-7 on 7. Comes into play with four other friends and deals a lot of damage when it attacks. Sarah Avatar, power and toughness equal to your life total. Uh, this last saw a reprint in Magic 2013. Uh, this is the original art though from the Urza block. Tidal Force is the last of the Force Cycle for 3 blue and 5. At the beginning of each upkeep you may tap or untap target permanent for 7 mana. This is going to be a killer card in Commander. Filigree Angel, more life gain equal to the artifacts we control. That's a 4-4 flyer on 8. Sphinx of the Steel Wind, this is a Chroma, which is <laughs> not a Chroma, the Angel of Wrath or a Chroma Angel of Fury, but uh, still not too bad, a 6-6 on 8. Flying First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, and Pro Red and Pro Green. Nile Spellbomb for those pesky graveyards. Soul Ring, which is printed in each of the new Commander 2013 boxes, so great reprint there. Sun Droplet, uh, way to go and gain some more life and uh, do so each upkeep. Swift Foot Boots, which replaces Lightning Greaves as the Shroudy or Hexed and Haste equipment of the uh, new set. Thopter Foundry, a way to go ahead and sack artifacts and get some more creatures. And of course, more life gain tacked on. New art for Crawl Space, originally saw print in Urza Block, has not seen print since. A 3 casting cost artifact, no more than 2 creatures can attack you each combat. Like the new art on this one a lot. Some artifact mana and Obelisk of Esper. Some more artifact mana and Pristine Talisman, also life gain. We have a reprint of Nevenril's Disc. This is the first time you can get this art without foil. Uh, we saw this in one of the From the Vault sets with this art with a foil, but now we get the non-foil version. So if you're looking for a disc, this is a great pickup for that. All that life, we can turn into cards with Well of Lost Dreams. We have Freaks and Reclamation. Again, pay life. So returning creature cards from the graveyard to hand. Dark Steel Mutation is a new card from Magic 2013 for Commander. It is an uh, enchant creature on one white and one. Enchanted creature is an 0 1 insect with zero abilities and zero creature types. It's also indestructible. Uh, it's a pretty great way to nerf one of your opponent's creatures. We have Curses, originally printed in Innistrad. Uh, they brought them back here for Commander 2013. The white one is whenever a creature attacks Enchanted Player, its controller gains one life. And this deck, life gains pretty. Pretty good thing. So we're probably going to see this card stay in this deck uh, for a while. We also have Curse of Inertia. Whenever a player attacks an enchanted player with more one creatures, that attacking player may tap or untap target permanent of his or her choice. This is a great way to do some combat tricks, especially because this trigger happens before blockers are declared. The last curse in this deck is Curse of Shallow Graves for one black and two. Enchanted player, whenever a player attacks enchanted player with one or more creatures, put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature from the into the battlefield tapped. Again, 2-2 two, two zombies into tapped is very big in Innistrad. We have a new card for 2013 Commander, Act of Authority. An enchantment that comes into play and exiles another artifact or enchantment. And then... You can go ahead during the upkeep and do it again. If it, you do it, pass it on to the person who is Artifact or Enchantment you just got rid of. Uh, so a great way to pass this along the board and get rid of a lot of pesky enchantments and artifacts, but you could lose some of your own as well, so be careful. Cradle of Vitality, we're doing a lot of life gain. We're going to get some counters in exchange for that. Greed, paying that life, drawing those cards. This is new art on the Greed from Izzy. Sanguine Bond. Whenever you gain life, they lose that much life. That's the target opponent, that is. Uh, this is a great card, especially with all the life gain in this deck. It's ridiculous. New art on Limdol's Vault. This was originally printed in Alliances. We haven't seen this in about 17 years or so, I believe. And it's a great way to duke through your deck really quickly. And it only costs a little bit of life uh, compared to all the life gain you have in this deck. It's pretty negligible, in fact. Uh, look at the top five cards of your library, do that as many times as you want until you find the five you want, put them on top in any order, and you're good to go. Reckless Spite, this is a reprint, but it has new art. Destroy two target non-black creatures, lose five life. Dromar's Charm, new art on this one as well. 
Gain five life, counter target spell, or target creature gets minus two, minus two till the end of turn. Spinal Embrace, cast it only during combat. Untap creature you don't control, gain control of it, gains haste, begin of the next upkeep or next end step, sacrifice it, and then gain life equal to its toughness. This originally saw print in Invasion Block. Survival Cash from Zendikar, gain life, and then draw a card if you have more life than an opponent. Shouldn't be too bad. Toxic Deluge. This one actually might see some legacy play. Uh, this is a great effect for one black and two. It's a sorcery. As an additional cost, pay X life in this deck. No big thing. In Commander, really no big thing. Then all creatures get minus X, minus X to the end of turn. This is better than Damnation because it gets rid of indestructible creatures because minus X, minus X makes it a state-based ability, and they turn into zero zeros. Deep Analysis. Draw some cards. Flash it back. Do it again later. Order of Succession. Uh, choose left or right, starting with you, choose a creature. Each player chooses a creature, then swap those to the left or right of the one you chose. Uh, this is going to be a really fun card to mess with people in Commander. I'm excited to play this myself. Brilliant Plan. This is a Portal 3 Kingdoms reprint. Uh, sorcery, draw three cards on five mana. Not super exciting, uh, but if you like drawing cards, this might be the one for you. Tempt with Immortality. Return a creature card from the graveyard battlefield. Then each opponent may do so as well. And then if they do, you can do so again for each opponent that does that. That is what Tempting Offer does. And this is a very good card. Famine. This is a reprint. Deal three damage to each creature and each player. We have Death Grasp. This is the newer art on Death Grasp. I believe printed in one of the dual deck boxes. Uh, deal X damage. Gain that much life. Into the lands now, we have some fixing with Arcane Sanctum. Looks like some blue-white fixing. A f uh, cycle land. Command Tower, the best mana fixing available, especially for such a easy just tap. Uh, more black-blue. We have some uh, get basic lands. Black-blue filtering, another cycler land. We have Opal Palace, which is the new land from these boxes. Uh, pay for colorless or pay colorless tap. Add one mana of any color of your commander's identity. If you spend it to cast your commander, your commander enters the battlefield with plus one, plus one counters equal to the number of times you've cast it, which means the first time could be one, and it gets bigger as the game goes on for each time your commander dies. Some black-white fixings, some five-color Springjack Pastor. Let's make some goats and then turn those goats into mana. Temple of False God, we have this in each deck. Add two mana, activate if you only have five or more lands. Uh, some more fixing, and then looks like we are through our basics, plains, islands, and swamps. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the Magic Commander 2013 product. Please subscribe and favorite.